Hi, I'm Mike Goodrich, uh, Director of the Center for Cybersecurity and Privacy. Uh, I'm also one of the professors here in the Department of Computer Science. Uh, and so what I'm going to talk about today with the students is, is uh, this notion of scalable cybersecurity. How can we scale security to internet size uh, communities? So one technology, for example, that we're focusing in on is uh, this concept of information authentication. Uh, we want to be able to have information that is coming from a source uh, be able to be distributed uh, and even hosted on uh, insecure sites in a way that uh, provides authentication, that people know the information that uh, is being provided is accurate and has not been changed. One application of this is uh, in, the, in the area of uh, governments who need to disseminate data, uh, for example, about uh, water quality, air quality, uh, these kind of environmental concerns. They do not want to have that data uh, altered as it's being transmitted to the various uh, places where it'll be reported on. Uh, they, want to, they have a vested interest in making sure that data is, is used correctly. Using our technology, they can uh, have that assurance even if their data is being hosted on third-party uh, sites that are technically untrust, uh, untrusted uh, in the technical sense, that data nevertheless can be authenticated as being accurate within that uh, context. Another important, uh, again, concept of in scalable security is this concept of broadcast encryption. In, in broadcast encryption, the idea is we have a group controller who's going to be broadcasting messages uh, into a community of, of users. And uh, he's going to, of course, encrypt his messages because he only wants this community to get the uh, responses and not everyone. And in fact, some of the uh, devices or components in the system will over time become revoked and, and those uh, individuals then have to be uh, excluded from future broadcast messages. In fact, one application of this is going to be uh, in the future of uh, high definition DVDs. In the future when we're just, when, when this technology is already, not our technology, but this idea of broadcast encryption is going to be incorporated into the way that DVDs are uh, encoded in the future. And then we've also done some work on secure biometric authentication. Uh, here the issue is um, how can you do biometric authentication, which is obviously using something of uh, uh, you know, value to us that we don't want to have uh, revealed, um, like our fingerprint or eye print, uh, that would use up and reveal something of very personal nature. What we'd like to have happen is to store that information in uh, the computers in a way that, it, that prevents anyone from stealing that information, uh, keeping it confidential, but also encrypted in a way that even an insider who's inside the bank or inside the company that's using this technology never has the ability to uh, steal your identity.